400 people here, that's that's a tipping point, and that's what's so exciting. So this morning I had the pleasure of talking with this district about the work that they're doing um, related to competency-based systems, performance learning, and really thanking and appreciating them for being on the leading edge of a lot of this work. So what competency-based systems do is provide us with an opportunity instead of tracking time to track learning. And what a competency-based approach allows us to do is know kids very deeply and really understand the learning that that student is bringing with them from grade to grade, from place to place, and allows for a really different way of thinking about um, what does it mean to be ready for real life. I think it creates equity for all students and to be able to look at each student and to be able to say, you're going to be able to master everything that you need to master. From a teacher's standpoint, I think it gives us a systemic foundation to do the work that we've been trying to do for the last decade. From a parent's perspective, and I have one who's just graduated from our system and another one who will be a sophomore, and uh, I wish my kids had had it. I think, I think it would have met their needs better. This is a way to for the teacher to relinquish the need to be in charge of all 25 students in his or her classroom doing the same thing at once and be a facilitator for their learning. It's a way to get to know the kids where they are and where they need to be and to meet their needs individually. We are like Disney, we want to be magical, we want to value diversity and develop culture. Yeah, for culture and climate that's really something that um, is very important. It's a foundational cornerstone of what we need to do within our school and I'm, I'm a big believer in that. And we're doing visioning uh, for our school this year and having everybody's buy-in and input on what that visioning needs to look like from staff to students to parents so that everybody has buy-in, has input, and it's a direction that we're going to head. And everybody has a voice and choice and in, in selection of what they want our school to look like. Every time I do this kind of work or I work with um, district schools or people who are starting this work, I always take back more learning to my site, to my district. Talking about it and collaborating with others um, validates and re-energizes me. It validates some of the work that we're doing. And we had the gallery walk so we could show our learning, we could visualize it, and we could share that with people who weren't in our session but also it um, kind of brings it all back together. Um, I have always wanted to have a student-centered classroom. I've always believed in that philosophy. And when I found out what the district was doing, it made the decision really easy. It was something I wanted to be part of. And the fact that I get to be at a demonstration site and that I've been given a lot of permission to do exactly what I think is best for students and try these new things and see what works. I, and, just, and then to be able to share that with other new teachers that, or other teachers that are trying something new, um, I just feel really fortunate to be part of that.